welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. I did the squid steer this time too. You I can't. Really it's mine. Sorry. We're it's about a bit. Anyways, how are you doing this week? You seem a little bit better. We, this is our second time trying to film this episode. We did try to film last night. Um, I was inconsolably like, anxious and high. Yeah. Not, so I would ask not you, on purpose. No, it was on accident. It was kind it of was a, like, an it was both our faults. But in the end, Drew felt like it was her fault because we stopped because of her. Yeah. But it was definitely, it was a combination. So I was telling her, like, the past few days have just been kooky, crazy town. Yeah, I agree. It's been really... What's going on? Tell the people. Give them the good news. I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> Not very far. I'm just moving to a new house, which yeah. is very exciting. Which, uh, this is also our announcement. This will be the last time you see this set, hopefully. We're trying to change it up. Yes, we'll see. We'll see. It honestly might be the same. It, might, it might look the same the next one, but the plan is to change it. <laughs> Don't hold me to that. I know, that's the goal, I promise. Yeah, so. the goal, like, we're just moving into a bigger house, so we have a bigger... Her and Billy. Yes, I me will, and Billy. Uh, yeah. You guys... I'm at the age where I don't want to live with my sister anymore. Same. <laughs> I'm too old. We're too old now. We found that out the hard way. Unfortunately, yeah. And we, and also too, like, we lived together for so long. Like, we did not have our own rooms till one of us went to college, till Daisy went to college. Mm-hmm. We did not have our own rooms. And yeah. even when she would come home from school, we still shared rooms. Yeah. Um, so we lived together for a very, very long time. Mm-hmm. And then when we both, went off to live our own lives and became adults and then had to move back in with our parents. That's when we were like, oh, can't do this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I hate that. Yeah. Which makes no sense because uh, we talk to each other every single day. It's and dumb. see each other every single yeah. day. Yeah. Like, we would, like, you know, we'd, like, take naps together. Yeah. yeah. Like, I could do that, but I could, We always do that. Yeah. Or, like, I'd go lay in her room with her while we look at our phones. Yeah. But, like, I can't... We can't live together. We just can't cohabitate I don't anymore. Know why. Unless we're on vacation. And that's because it's temporary. It's not our home. And even then, I still get these in her own room. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, come on. Dude, for sure, I'm my own hotel even room. Even then... And you know what's funny is, like... It's not, it's us, but it's also like, uh, Dason has never lived with a man that wasn't our brother and dad. Yeah. And like, and our like uncle, right? Like we used to all live in one tiny, tiny house yeah. when we were kids. But, but also like, I was little, but like as yeah. an adult, I've only ever lived with. Yeah. So dad. like her having to learn how to share like hotel rooms with Billy and stuff has been really funny. Yeah. So much. <laughs> Like, I feel like that's... She's just, a pro now, but well, yeah. it is a lot. When we went to Coachella in 2019, and we shared a room together. Like, oh, yeah. the first yeah. time we shared a room together. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, how long is he going to be in that bathroom? Because I got to go, to. And, and he just like me, for real. I know. And she's used to it, but I'm not. Yeah, see, so. like... But also, like... It's just like, we're, you're, we're adults. Like, Dace is going to be 30. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I'm going to be 28. So it's just yeah. one of those... One of those times... I was gonna say the first time I had my own my own hotel room was when we went to Govball last year. Yeah, I've never stayed in a room by myself before. And yeah, I was like, what the heck? I felt I like Eloise at the closet. <laughs> I know, I know. And she, I always make sure she, her room is by mine. Yeah, and uh, Billy always walks her to her door, like yeah. security. <laughs> Especially when she's drunk, she has to be escorted back to her room. No, that, that time we went, he had to be escorted. You both had to be room. escorted. I escorted you, and I had him hold the elevator door, and I escorted you to your room. He almost ruined my night. <laughs> yeah. He tried to pretend to throw up in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was not pretending, and that's the scary part. Oh. We were like, I was working in New York, and we finished work, and our like besties... Um, that we've worked with many times. Uh, we were all like celebrating. We we're like, let's go out. So we all went out. And I, you guys know, like I've told y'all already, like me and Billy don't really drink that much anymore. Um, not for any particular reason. It's mostly like it. Like the older you get, guys, it makes you feel like shit. It's just your recovery time slows. It just like, feels bad. Like I it's should. It's so bad. It's I so be bad. Turning thirty in less than six months, and I'm still learning like what my body can handle. <sighs> I should already know. You develop new allergies, and you are hungover for six days after having it's two drinks. Awful. Like, and then you're like, I'm literally never gonna not feel like this. It's, <laughs> awful. it's awful. Like. 
And I don't care about getting old. I don't care about aging. No. In fact, in fact, I think my I, I welcome appreci- it. I appreciate it because it's catching up to my brain. My brain has always been like forty five sure. years old. Okay. So I'm I'm cool with getting older. What I'm not cool with is my body turning against me yeah. like that. Like, oh, the way I used to drink when I was twenty one, girl, would put me into a fucking hospital now. Like, I, know. I would have, I would literally be hospitalized for at least two like, weeks. I have to eat. I'm not joking. Like an eight course meal before I go out in order to have a good time. <laughs> and if I don't, I'm gonna get sick every single time. I'm a fucking lightweight, and I know, like, when you're young, you're like. Oh my god, you're lightweight. Like, that's so I'm embarrassing. I'm a proud one. Proud I don't give a lightweight. fuck. You know what that means? You save money. That's what that means. Yeah. Because before I used to be able to drink, I could hold liquor like a tank, bitch. Like, it would take me forever. Yeah. To feel something, which is not a good thing. Um, and also when you're young, you drink to get fucked up, not like because you like the taste. It's, it's literally to get fucked up. Like, that's the Who goal. Who drinks because they like the taste? When you get older, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying, like, when you get older, you'll have, like, a glass of wine, and you'll be like, that tastes good, that, that's yummy, and sure. then that's it. I'm saying, when you're young, that is not how you drink. Like, you drink, you literally drink for the feeling. Like, you drink to get trash. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I guess like, not, well, I, I don't drink to get trash, but if I'm going out, I am. But if but I'm even not, then, like, it's, it's like you see it so differently than when you did when you were 20. Well, trash being, like... 21, I mean. I mean. My, my, like, yeah, my um, limit for, for what trash is to me now is so different from when I was, like... Yeah, like, same. 21, same. Yeah. same. So now I'm like, okay, that's enough. We're yeah. 21, I'm all, I have no limit, let's keep going. Exactly. It's kind of a pick-me. It is, it is, I, I, I would say, you could definitely argue that it is, like, a byproduct of internalized misogyny. It's, like, yeah. this idea that you need to keep up, whatever that means. Yeah. Um... But yeah, like when when I was a kid though, like when I say kid, um, when I was in my early twenties, mm. um, it was fun. Like fun, it's fun to drink, like yeah. and get drunk and you know what I have do? Fun. It's not fun. Well, I'll say for me, uh, I have such bad anxiety that I can make myself sick without even drinking any alcohol. <laughs> so then when you mix both, it's like the worst combination. Yeah, I mean, like I had like four light beers once, and the next day I was hungover. I'm not kidding. She called every. This is what she does. She'll call me like, days, and I go, "What?" She goes, "I think I have COVID." And I go, "Do you have any of the symptoms?" She goes, "Like what? What do you mean, like what?" Every single time, I start running, and then I go, "You know how you're like, I don't have a headache, but my head does kind of hurt. It's like that." I know. Then I go, "Okay." So I go, "Do you have a headache?" She goes, "Yeah." <laughs> then I go, "Are you phlegmy?" No. Hmm. Do you have a cough? No. <laughs> Can you smell and taste everything? Yeah. Well, oh, then... It's changed <laughs> over the last three years. But it's, the base of it's a cold. Like, That's true. Okay. But every time. I literally called my mom in tears because I was like, I think I have the flu. Yeah. And then she's like... And then I told Well, me, first I said I had COVID and then I tested myself and I didn't have COVID. So I was like, oh, it was probably the flu. And yeah. then I was like miserable. And I can't get the flu. I'm like that family guy sketch. Just, I just cannot get sick right now. It's like I'm. That's more annoying than a lady who works a nine to five who can't get sick right now. I just cannot get sick right now. You don't need to work a nine to five, but you can't get sick. (laughs) That's my point. I'm saying when I think I'm getting sick, that's how I act because I literally don't have time to be sick. Like actually, I don't have time for it. So like, I feel that. Anyways, I call my mom in tears, and then my mom was like, "You have the flu," and I go, "Yeah." She goes. Are you like feverish or anything? I'm Nothing. like, no, just feel nauseous. So, 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 so nauseous. And then she's like, okay, well, what else did you, what did you do yesterday? Yeah. And I told her what I did. And then she's like, well, didn't you drink? And I go, I had like four light beers. And then she goes, well, you're probably hungover. What kind of beers were they? They were Coors Light. Even worse. No, wait, they weren't Coors Light. They were, uh, Corona, like, like. They were Corona Lights, yeah. Yeah, Corona Lights. And then I was like, Corona's is good. Corona's are good. Corona's and so I, and I had the light version. On vacaciones and, with a little limon in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I had like the little skinny cans. Like I had four of those. And she's like, we we're probably hungover. Did you smash them on your head after each one? <laughs> like, yeah. I might as well have. <laughs> I should have done a fucking you, keg stand. Then you ate the aluminum. <laughs> You're like, I did that, but do you, I don't think that has do anything to do with I don't think it's related to this at all. <laughs> but I don't know why you bring that up. I literally, she's like, look, I was like, I'm not fucking hungover, dude. There's no way. <laughs> and then she was like, well, treat it like hangover and see if it works. And it did. And I was shamed. And then you, and then you text her, what do you think you're better than me? <laughs> 
doctor, she, apparently. She got your degree. I was literally like, and I, and again, I don't give a fuck that I'm a lightweight. It's just the yeah. fact that they were Corona lights. Like, what the fuck? Like, okay, like, I don't want to feel hungover. That's what I'm saying. I don't care about being a lightweight, but I, don't make me feel like that. I was that. like, having a couple of beers with your, with your in-laws, right? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I do stuff like that now, like, where I, I drink a couple of Trulies in the pool, and I'm like, I have to throw up, like, right now. Just and then what I, the fuck, And then I think bro. of what and how I used to drink in college. Yeah. And then I go, how is, how am I still alive? I don't know. There's no way. Did you ever drink Bush Light? No, bitch. Because you saying. hung out with white people. I know. I, mean, I drink nasty ass <laughs> beer like that. Natty. I don't know white people too. You drink natty likes. Right? They weren't. No. What? No. Yo, you, we know, were, you know. We you know what it was? PBR, PBR, Rolling Rock kind of whites. Oh. That's who I hung out with. I was just because you have rich friends. Those are expensive, aren't they? Not all my friends were rich. Oh, okay. No, like some some of them come. You know from, what's so funny? We some hung, of them came from money. Because we hung out with different types of white people. That's, that's what like, I just said. I yeah. said my my the my white people that were around me at the time yeah. were PBR Rolling Rock yeah, kind of white yeah, people. Yeah. I literally can't drink Rolling Rock anymore because oh. one spring break we that's all we drank. We kept buying thirty racks of Rolling Rock and yeah. big handles of Captain Morgan. <laughs> and so we kept drinking those okay. and like they're ruined uh like the taste was ruined for me for the longest time rolling, uh, but rock, rolling rock specifically tastes like you know when you like take a cooler to the beach and then you like dump all the water out yeah it tastes like whatever that little bit of water that stays at the bottom of the cooler there's like a little bit of sand in there because you took it to the yeah. beach yeah pbr pbr like, tastes like ass too like i remember i told our mom about it's it like once. a hipster beer yeah. I, see, I told our mom about it my mom was like rolling rock's good i'm like I guess, but not when you drink like 15 of them a day. It's not very good anymore. Rolling Rock also has like a, there's a grainy texture to it. Like, girl, I don't fucking it. know. I didn't know shit about beer really. Like, all I knew was the beers that like my family drank. I had never even heard of Rolling Rock before yeah. I went there. <laughs> like, and if you're a local girl, like, boy, the Heines, yeah. they love a Heine. They love a green bottle. They love a Heineken. That is like their favorite that kind beer of beer. That beer bad too. That is also a bad beer. Yeah, that one tastes bad too. I would argue most beers are bad. Most beers don't taste yeah, right. You know what? That's so brave of you. Yeah, most shit. most beers don't taste right. It's okay if we say it. I went when I went, I went to a lesbian event in um, in San Diego, and mm-hmm. my friend was like, "Oh, do you have any drinks?" Because like, I brought like Josh and Mayo uh-huh. and like, Carrie. I was like, "Oh yeah," and she's like, "We use I'm like seltzers. Like we'll just drink seltzer." She's like, "Okay." So she's grabbing them and she's handing them to me, and they're little San Pellegrino. So I'm looking at them. Well, I think this is just water. She's like, oh my god, wait, give those back to me. So I said seltzer, like the alcoholic. Oh, they thought you seltzer meant water. water. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I mean, I'll take that. I will pocket one of those later on the way out. I don't know. Leave it here. Trust me, I'm gonna need it. You but. can leave those here. <laughs> and so she goes, oh, she goes, oh, we only have beer, and it was like Ballast Point. <laughs> Ballast Point's not bad, if, depending on which one. You those get. taste nasty. Uh, yeah, like you're an nasty. IPA. Nasty. And I- I'll tell you, an IPA... Oh, um, sure, you're English. The <laughs> fact, yeah, it's like a meal. So gross. The fact that some people drink IPAs with food... They're trying to die. That's great. You might as well swallow a fucking pillow, bitch. It's like, it's like I have Mentos and I'm pouring Diet Coke in my mouth. No, truly. That's what that is. It's like, I, like when boa constrictors, or no, no, like pythons, they like open their mouth and they swallow like whole animals. That's how it feels... <laughs> To drink an IPA and, and eat at the same time. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It's just sitting in there. I'm swallowing a squid. That's how my body yeah, feels. And it's like the shape of the animal you just ate it's is just in your my stomach. throat. Yeah, it's, you know, it's just there. my throat sideways. It's like it's, when, yeah. when Patrick has that horn in his Yeah, throat. or like uh, when uh, Squidward swallows his clarinet. <laughs> That's how it feels to drink an IPA. It's true. Like that beer is so thick and dense. It's like crazy dude speaking of spongebob really fast sorry i saw a tiktok i can't remember if i said this to you you did i already know which one you're gonna the Bodie one what the spongebob Bodie one Bodie. yeah we're, i forget what episode this is but it was this girl i think she bought a fake um like license plate for her car and put Bodie like b-o-t-a b-o-a-t-y okay i i lied SpongeBob I Bodie's like hi Bodie. <laughs> And he goes, oh, you look so cold. Here, take my socks. And yeah. she, like, leave them on the bumper. <laughs> Dude, I gotta rewatch that show. Dude, it's 
unbelievable. Anyway, so funny. What were you talking about? Yeah, I, these are gross. So she gave them to me. I was like, mm, I wish I had more. So nasty. Mm, mm, mm. It was so, so good. It was so funny because Josh was holding him. I looked at it. He was like dancing. And he didn't even open the beer. He goes, this is so gross. I'm not drinking this. And it was, and it is. I know, it's And true. it's okay. Most beers are not very good. I'm also allergic to beer. So, like, beers are like, yeah. um, I'm getting a headache as I'm drinking it. It's awful. I love- okay, we're going to take one more quick little break, and this is with our friends at Fast Growing Trees. So, breathe some life into your own backyard with FastGrowingTrees.com this spring. From shade to fresh fruit to privacy and natural beauty, let FastGrowingTrees.com help you plant your dream garden with their expert advice and fast, reliable shipping. FastGrowingTrees.com's plant experts curate thousands of easy-to-grow plant, shrub, and tree varieties for your unique climate. Meyer lemons to evergreens and everything in between. Happy plants, happy home, right? But sometimes it's hard to know which plants will do best. No problem, because with FastGrowingTrees.com, you get customized recommendations based on your specific needs. Plus, their plant experts are always available to help keep your plants growing healthy through the season and beyond. No more waiting on long lines and hauling heavy plants around. With FastGrowingTrees.com, you order online and your plants arrive at your door in just a few days. So I personally have loved working with Fast Growing Trees because I was able to find, we talked about the Meyer lemon trees earlier. I love lemons, especially in a salad or maybe you just squeeze a little lemon on some food while you're cooking some tofu. Oh, that sounds so good. And I was looking for a really great price and I was able to find one here at Fast Growing Trees. So join over 1.5 million happy Fast Growing Trees customers. Go to FastGrowingTrees.com slash Two Idiot Girls now to get 15% off your entire order. Get 15% off at FastGrowingTrees.com slash Two Idiot Girls. Now back to it's awful. I love a good flavored beer, like a light, uh, like not like a, a heavy one, but if there's like a grapefruit flavored one or something, like sometimes those are really good. A, the grapefruit scoping. From yeah, but point. yeah, but you have to drink it immediately because the minute it gets warm, warm it's disgusting. Oh. The minute it gets warm, no thanks. Sorry, I thought I had a cut on my leg. So gross. You guys, it is mosquito season too. I'm getting fucking eaten a lot. Yeah, it's so bad. Also, I just want to say, so many of you were commenting on my scrape in the last episode. Put it in the frame. It bothers them. They deserve to see So it. I wore pants today. Um, I don't like how you guys act like I didn't tell you why my knee looked like that. You know what I started telling them? Because they go, what happened to your knee? And I go, someone doesn't listen to every episode. And it's also, it's like pretty much done now. Like, like, ouch. Yeah, it's like, ever heard of a scab? What's the one below it? What's the alley below it? I don't know. That's, I think it's like a bite. A mosquito bite? Yeah. Ouch. Ugh, I'm a mess. I didn't want to, I go, what? Ugh, hello? I wore pants today because I didn't want to see a million fucking comments about my scrape. (sighs) Rude. You guys already know where I got it from. And if you didn't, and you're not a true fan. I agree. Just kidding. Go watch like two, three episodes ago. I'll explain where I got the scrape from. I was say a quick little update from on my end. Me and Brittany got to meet the Mandalorian. At that is true. Then. That is true. And I and I took the video footage live yeah. at the scene of the crime. We were both like after we were talking about what he was saying to us. She said he was literally asking us questions. And they were both like, I'm not kidding. They were both silent. <laughs> like they were both like smiling. I'm going to act it out for the video people. For those who are listening, they were just smiling with their mouths open and no sounds coming out. It was just like this. The whole time, I'm not going to be. Oh my gosh, you guys. I had to like tell them like three times that they said to go over there because they were just going. Because this is what he does. There's no line. It's just like a U of people in front of him. And, and then he, he summons you. And then you. he picks you. So he summons you. He kept uh-huh. skipping us. And we were like, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. He just, and I was like, honestly. Yeah, he, he kept just not, skipping us. He kept skipping you guys Almost for the kids. kids. <laughs> yeah. You mean, you mean to say that he was paying attention to the <laughs> children waiting first. And that. Anyways, he's saving the best for <laughs> Well, clearly he just wanted, he just wanted both of them. That's but, why. uh, Brady and I have, like, talked about, cause I always see him on TikTok, like, people meeting him. Yeah. And we've gone to Disneyland, like, so a, many times together. Yeah. And we've never seen him. And so we walked up and then I was like, oh my God. It was a true tractor. unicorn sign. Yeah. yeah. It was seeing we, Bigfoot in our life. Our plan was to do a prom pose. Like, like the three of them. But with him in the middle. Yeah. And we thought it'd be so funny. And then, oh my God, we just rolled. Okay. They both you. got nervous. 
They were both silent. He was literally talking to them and they were both going, like, just not, like, facing me. They weren't even facing him because I was looking, taking the picture. He kept looking at us. I was so nervous. I couldn't function. My mom was like, I don't know why it's not the real one. And I was like, you know what? You don't get it. None of them are real. You don't get so, it. If you really think about it. By that measure, he is real. What, see on that too? It's like, Pedro Pascal doesn't even do the stand-in for most of the work. And he just does the voice. Yeah. Yeah. I did get to see the baby in person, which is all that I really cared about, to be honest. Yeah, I was blinking a lot. It gave me sinister energy. It was really cute. Its but hands were like this, and it was blinking a lot. Didn't like it. Didn't like it one bit. But he was really nice. I will say, I uh, wish he was a little bit taller. I don't think there's any more. Yeah, that, that, that Mandalorian shift um, was not. No. He was barely taller than Brittany, so he was probably like 5'8", if that. Yeah, maybe 5'9". Because Brittany's 5'8". I thought Brittany was 5'7", I forget. Yeah. I don't know. She's around that, but he's, the day, he's barely taller than her. I think that he needs to be 6'7 at all times. I don't think there's anything That's too tall. That's way too tall. My dad is the Mandalorian. <laughs> he's <laughs> just a little too big. That's too much for me personally. Also, guys, new drink, hyperfixation unlocked... Uh, wait, Join me in my quest. Mine, I'm just drinking an Americano occasionally. I'm not sure yours. I have their, the, hello? What the fuck, dude? Sorry, guys. My brain's rebooting at all times now. It's like a frozen coffee almost. So it's like a venti espresso frap. So it's literally just coffee and whatever milk you want blended like a smoothie. And then I just put two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. Delicious! Everyone should go try. Where'd you learn of this one? I'm gonna do a live taste testing right now, guys. I literally just saw it on the app and I was like, that looks good. I'm gonna try it. It's good. I don't like how you held your breath for a second. It was like the teeniest bit too much. Like That's what I'm saying. Like, I could get away with one. I've just been reordering the same one because it's faster, but... That's what I'm, it tastes really sugary. There's only two pumps in there? Yes. No, I know. That's what I'm just asking you. Yeah. Yeah, that, it's syrup, though. That's why. No, I know. I'm just tripping out of that. That's yeah, it's it's a syrup, so that's why it's so much more concentrated than a sugar packet. You know what? I haven't had, like, like syrup flavoring. Like, you see, like, hazelnut macchiatos. Like, I haven't had one like that in a minute. Yeah, that's why, like... It tastes, like, a little too much, but... I could probably get away with one. But it's it tastes really good. It tastes like vanilla. It tastes like um, like syrup, like <laughs> syrup, but like maple syrup. What's that taste like? Mm -mm. In a good way, though. I like it. It's yummy. Try it. <laughs> Shut up. If you guys dude. try it, tag me. You guys all tag me in that other one that wasn't my drink. That was Claudia Walsh's drink. Oh, the strawberry one. Yeah, that one's fire too, dude. That one. You leave in your car on a hot day. You come back in. It smells like you've been eating nothing but strawberry yogurt in there, and it's gross. Yeah, it smells like Greek yogurt in the car. Yeah. Don't recommend leaving it in Don't there. Leave it in the car. That that drink is fire, but I hate ordering it on the app because they never do it right. In the sense that, like. I have, they don't give you the option of cold foam and I have to message them, can you please ask for strawberry cold foam? And they're like, I already picked it up. And I'm all, oh, forget it. And it's just not the same. So that one, that one's fire. You know what's funny about Drew is that I don't even know why she gets that big of one because she's probably going to be done drinking it at five minutes. Why don't you do you and I'll do me? Like if I had a straw in this one right now, it'd be halfway done. And that's a problem. I think you see that as a win, and it shouldn't be. <laughs> it's not. It should be viewed as a threat. I don't. I don't like though that I eat and drink everything too fast. Okay. Right. Anyways, guys. Okay. So we're gonna get straight into today's topic. I don't know that. Are, do you have any more zoomies you want to share with everyone with the class? Um. Here's like a little fun update. Okay. I am finishing up my book, which is very exciting. <gasps> I know. You um, never talk about it either. So. I never talk about my it's book. So weird that you're bringing it up now. I'm very excited for you. I'm nearing the end. That's the only reason I brought it up. Cause like, I'm just kidding. I know. I should, 
I should be... If I was writing a fucking book, you can't, I would bring it up every second I could. <laughs> I never talk about it because it's, it hasn't it hasn't really felt like a tangible thing because I've been working on it since January. Yeah. But now, like... Not, I mean, working on it, like, like me, writing it, yeah, but I feel like, like the deal itself and everything... It has been since last year. Yeah, since, like, so, so pre, uh, like, uh, Black Adam. So, like, September, October. Yeah. So, I'm very excited for this, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, my... I'm almost finished with it. Um... I'm in the very, very, like, end stages of the first stage, yeah. if that makes sense. Which is, like, I would say the yeah. hardest part, right? Yeah, that's it's the longest part. Like, yeah, it, takes, it takes the longest, but I've been working on it since January. But she's about to be done, so Ooh. as far as, like, my my writing portions of it, like, or the writing portion of the book is about to be finished, mm. and then we move on to the other stages, but very exciting. Very exciting. All I've been doing for the last like two months has been moving like planning the move and uh writing that's all i've been doing and nothing else yeah pretty much yeah so that's why my brain is like mush it feels like i need i'm like a long more like like i'm trying to like get it started in every morning i feel morning. like my brain like right a chainsaw is like you know like in spy kids when they make them into fooglies and they can't speak english yeah <laughs> That's yeah. what I feel like my brain is. Yeah, I feel that. They're talking backwards. I really get to that. I feel like I, I look like one too. That's what it's, it's, it's when yeah, life imitates art. Yeah. <laughs> so, like the representation is so important. Oh, we played the blockbuster board game the other night <laughs> with our cousins, Josh Mayo, and our friends, Janelle. And it was so fun. Have y'all ever played that board game? It's fun. At this point, Janelle feels like a cousin, too. Yeah. Janelle's a cousin, too. But we they came over. We had game night, and like we played that game. It was so fun. It was really fun. I, oh, I thought of that. that competitive in a game. In a it, yeah, I know. You said you said some bitchy-ass thing to me. You did, too. I didn't do that to you. You did it right before that. No, I didn't, Jason. You did. That whole game, I was actually really proud of myself. I didn't really do anything. Like, I wasn't, like, biting at all. Like, everybody... I always am in every game that's competitive like that. But I really was... I think it's because I was, like, so, like, whatevs. Because I was so tired. <laughs> that was so fun, though. I know. It was really fun. I'm trying to remember what you said to me. Where you I remember what it was. <laughs> I remember what it was. Wait, first of all, I thought of it because you said Spike Kids. And um, there's, like, a part in the game where you go head-to-head against somebody else on the other team. And they give you a category, and you have to think of movies that fall in that category. And you have to just go one at a time, and whoever can't think of one loses. Um, and so, like, me and Donovan were doing <laughs> movies with gadgets. Mm. <laughs> and I said Spy Kids. That's such a good one. And I had him I had him on the ropes. I had him. I was backing him into a yeah. corner. I was like, if you have any more, I'm not going to have one. <laughs> <clears throat> the very first one I did was me versus Josh. It was like yeah. movies with a race in it. And then he was like, I was like, do you want to go first? With like a race, yeah. like, like, uh, like cars or like, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Cause you should clarify that. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Like movies with a race where you're competing in a race. Where a race is happening. Yeah. And so then um, I was like, do you want me to go first or do you want to go? He goes, oh, you can go. I was like, uh, okay, cars. And he goes, dang it. That's all I have. He goes, oh, that was my only one. <laughs> <laughs> I remembered what it was. It was movies that take place on the water. Yeah. And I said, I was trying to say Captain Phillips, but I said the captain. Yeah. And then Jason was like, that's not a movie. That's not a movie. <laughs> and she's like, what movie is that? And I was like, oh, with, uh. Tom Hanks. I saw the name. And she goes, that's Captain Phillips. Next. And I was like, okay. Okay. I didn't say it like that, but that's okay. That is how you said it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Either way, it's the game really is fun. super fun. Highly recommend. We played it for a long time that okay. night. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get straight today to today. Jeez, Louise. Well, it's a great transition. Yeah, what a great transition into today's topic. Yeah. We're doing part two of, what is it, random childhood crushes. Yes, and you guys loved our episode with Brittany. I'm so glad you did. We've never had an episode where we don't do the topic, which I thought was really funny. Like, we did kind of. Yeah. um, But we mostly just laughed at our own jokes. (laughs) (laughs) Which is kind of how it goes. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad so many of you liked the episode. Obviously, we love Brittany. And Brittany is so hilarious and amazing. 
She was, um, like, genuinely one of the nicest and funniest yeah. people uh, we've met in this and I've known ever, so. Yeah, I'm really glad that you guys can tell that our friendship is genuine, mm-hmm. like, with between the three of us, because we do spend a lot of time together. Yeah. We spend a lot of time together, so we just never post about it because it doesn't fucking matter. Mm-hmm. Um, because we're real-life friends, which is really fun. But I think one of my many favorite things about her is how supportive she is of everything. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, like, yeah, she gets to host the Barbie premiere, and we're like, oh, my God, of course she's it. Like, we're so excited for you. Yeah. And then, like, Drew gets to, like write a book and she's like that's exactly that's what I fucking thought like you know what I mean like I I really appreciate that about our friendship with her yeah we we sing each other's praises all the time and um I love that about Mm -hmm. us like that's she's just a genuine really really great person yeah I mean if you're not like in this stuff like that's not as common as you think it would be yeah yeah everyone we we are like friends with that you've seen us hang out with they're like that yeah thankfully we've never Thankfully, we've never interacted with um, or, like, spent time with anyone um, that wasn't supportive or wasn't, like, happy for us or happy for our success or anything like that. Um, So all the people that we spend time with that are also creators Mm -hmm. are genuinely so amazing and so funny and um, such great people. And, like, I I think I was telling Josh the other day, I'm, like, I'm really glad that I've, I've, like got a really good judge of character because yeah. the people I genuinely love online, like, um, and I've gotten the chance to meet and the friend in real life are just as amazing in person as they are online. Like they are exactly who you think they may be or hope that they will be. Yeah. Um, so Brittany's no exception to that. She's yeah. one of those people. She's so sweet. And, and so, so unfucking believably funny. It's yeah. insane. I know, like, my Kindle came in yesterday, so I sent her a picture, <laughs> yeah. and I said, it's time, and she said, I, I've been fucking waiting, bitch, and then she's all, shakily opens up AO3. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to start the Akatar series, you know, people talk I about I kind of wanted to, too. I saw those. A Court of Thorns and Roses. Yeah. yeah. I heard they're really good. I know. I know, I just, like, can't have another thing right now. I have so many things going on. I literally bought a little t shirt and a little a little pop socket. I'm trying to be in the club. With I actually am going on a trip, though, in a couple weeks. Um, and when I do go on that trip, I may need new books. So Please don't buy any. Just take Evelyn Hugo and please read it. I will, but I kind of wanted to read that one, too. Just take one. Take Evelyn Hugo. Ugh. Ugh. That's my new thing. That's your new bit. Just so everyone knows. That's a new new bit. What is it? Saying ugh like Charlie Brown. So I just say ugh. <laughs> Why is that your new thing? I don't know. I just started saying it. And I'm like, that's so funny. I'm going to start saying that. Hyperfixation unlocked. If you guys were FaceTiming Drew and she was showing me her girl dinner from the night before. <laughs> Facing, but no, your new thing is facing me from your laptop, which I hate. Oh my god, so fun. <laughs> Love it. Instead of her phone, it's her laptop. And I got a new laptop. Why did I get a new laptop? Let's talk about it. She's an idiot. That's okay. <laughs> it's because this is, this is like you're like one of the smartest people I know. That was one of the dumbest things I've ever done. <laughs> so. To be fair, I didn't put my laptop in there like that. Somebody else uh, did. That makes sense. But I don't Not have, that he's dumb. I'm but saying, I like, don't have my laptop in a case, and that is my fault. Yeah. Um, now you do. The no one it, like gave you one. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And even then, it's still not in the case. <laughs> I still no, that's your old one. I still no my oh. Job. I still okay. bear back Anyways, it. Straight, okay. Anyways, we went to go swim at my parents' house, and um, we had to bring Squiddy, so we brought all his you know his fucking tools for his dinner because he gets a Michelin star meal. Yeah. Every time he eats, Billy has like a knife belt. Is that what they call it? <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> throws it. Yes, chef. <laughs> That's the plot of he, Chef. He has a diamond plot. stone to, to sharpen <laughs> to the knife. Sharp. <laughs> that's, that's the plot of the bear, by the way. And that's him cooking dinner for a fucking one-year-old dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's the plot of the bear is literally, that's him, and, and he's the bear. <laughs> like, <laughs> squish with bear. <laughs> um, so I, we're like, <laughs> so reason Jeremy Allen White's there. <laughs> no one knows why. It's got a white shirt, I don't know. But also... We have to bring him in. So we have to pack, like, a literal diaper bag for him. Like, we have to bring all his food and shit. And so um, my mom had left her Hydro at my house. Or not her Hydro. It was her Stanley, Stanley Cup. 
So I was like, oh, I'll bring it. And it was so light that I was like, oh, there's probably no water in it. So I put it in the bag. And so Billy put my laptop in there like sideways like that. And then the thing tipped over. Turns out there was water in there. And my laptop was sitting in water the entire drive to my yeah, parents' house. Drive. Had no fucking clue that it was in there, none at all. And it was just, and then as soon as I took it out, I pulled it up like this and it was dripping water. My fucking laptop. Oh. Oh, yeah. nice. And so then I was like, what the fuck? Because I'm writing my book on there, which panicked the fuck out of me. So my mom made a giant bowl of rice and just shoved my thing in there, left it in there for like six hours. And then when I came back to it and I took it out and I turned it on, like one half of the screen is like all fucked up and the other half is not. It still works perfectly fine. It still charges. It's just the screen is fucked. So I can't really see whatever's on the left. It doesn't work is what she's saying. Yeah. I'm just saying like it still turns on and shit and charges, which is crazy because the charging port was literally soaking in the fucking water. Uh, But anyways, that's the story of why I got a new laptop. Um, and so I'd be, I'd be FaceTiming her for my laptop. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was saying. Yeah. And she was showing me her girl dinner from the night before. <laughs> yeah. She's like, she was picking up her phone or her laptop to show me it on her side of the bedside <laughs> table. Do you want to tell them what it was? It was a box of hot and spicy Cheez-Its okay. and a Diet Dr. Pepper and one drumstick. <laughs> <laughs> that what's was your, my girl dinner. What's your like dream girl dinner? That. That's my room. Hello. That was my dream girl dinner. I love a hot and spicy cheese it. You know what I, you know what's so funny is I told our mom this is I was talking to Billy's dad, right? And he said, you know what I noticed about you? This was months ago. And I'm like, what? And he goes, that you don't really eat, you snack. And I was like, what does that mean? And he's like, you just love to snack. Like, that's you love to, like, like munch. Gross. He's like, you just love to munch, like, on little things, and, like, that's it. And I'm like, that is true. I do love a good snack. Like, if we go to a party and there's, like, a main meal, great. But if there's a, a spread of, like, a vegetable tray, a fruit tray, right? Cheese and crackers. Like, I'm going to fill up on all of that, and I'm not going to eat the meal. <laughs> that's me, but with sides. Yeah, I love a side. I love just eat sides, yeah. Yeah, like, when, when they, they love to barbecue and they'll cook some good-ass meat and shit, but, like, they always make sure there's good sides because that's my favorite part of it. Yeah. Them. It's not even the meal. Sides, it's not the meat. It's literally the sides. Yeah, for um, Christmas every year, Billy's mom makes homemade lasagna. Oh, it's so fire. And so this year, she invited, like, our family over mm-hmm. to have some. Usually, she just sends leftovers to the house. Yeah. And um, what's it called? She made, like, a salad and gerate, like, two plates of salad and I do it again and the tiniest little corner of a piece yeah of and then I was like oh too big no I I just eat like I get so I think I just get so excited for the sides and the and the the snacks sure that I just fill up on them like I eat a lot of them and then I'm like okay I feel that. and then when I eat the main meal I just eat a little bit and then I'm good yeah I love a good snack she loves to spoil her dinner that's what she's saying <laughs> that's what she's saying that's so funny because that's fucking true. Yeah. I like, and I'm literally just talking about ruining my appetite. I am. I like to eat little snacks before and then I don't even want to eat dinner. <laughs> like, and I'm not saying like, I'm like, mm, one almond, I'm full. I mean, no. like I had two boxes of cheeses. Like, that's what I mean. I don't eat dinner. I already did. That was my dinner. I call this girl dinner. Like, girl dinner. And then it's just echoing yeah. the entire time. My favorite or my dream girl dinner is like two pickle spheres mm. and a bag of popcorn nice and then no that's good those things don't go together at all maybe two bags of popcorn two pickle spheres nice but you eat the pickles first because after that would be too much i always think yeah i feel that i, I always think that girl dinner is like because i saw people debating like what a real girl dinner is and i'm like I, I mean, I think it just depends on the person. Yeah. But I think a girl dinner thing is, like, when you're too busy to eat. So, like, you you find... Or you didn't have time to go grocery shopping. So, you literally make a meal out of what yeah. you have at the yeah, house. Like, you're, like, like, I would say, like, a jar of black olives. <laughs> or, like, a can of them. Ooh, a green olive. A garlic stuffed olive. I once had ones with jalapenos in them from Trader Joe's. Too much. Yummy. Too much. Yeah, a little... A can of medium pitted black olives in water. Should I eat like a carrot? You're gonna eat those? Yeah. I think whole yes. olives taste so gross. Or sorry, good. Whole olives. Black ones. And they're yeah. hidden. But when they're sliced, they're disgusting. Okay. They taste gross. Like on pizza, I don't like them. 
Okay. But so anyways, I'll, yeah, a can of those and then like, like a whole thing of hummus and chips. Good. Oh, hummus and chips. <laughs> Jason loves it. You know why she loves a dip? Jason loves a dip. And I've tried all the vegan dips at Trader Joe's and guess what? I don't like them. Right. I, I like the garlic hummus, the little one. The big one with the blue lid tastes like not good, but the little one. But Sabra hummus? A garlic hummus? I don't like when they put the little garlic in there. It's too much. It's just aesthetic. I eat around it. I know. People say you have to- Unless you mix it. You're not supposed to- That's too much. I've never done that personally, but that's what I've heard. It's too much. I just love- The blue corn tortilla chips at Trader Joe's have something in them that I just can't get enough of. I don't know what it is. Dude, they used to do- Okay, so I know everyone talks about the Taki, like, dupe. But I they have like them. those. They're good. The rolled corn ones, right? The one yeah. that Dylan always supposed to Yeah, they're right. they're good. Like, don't get me wrong. Those are good. The chicharrones are better. Those ones are good, too. Yeah. But they have a hot Cheeto dupe there that they, for some reason, will not restock. And if you're listening to, oh, to this, yeah. Mr. Trader Joe, I would like for you to put them back. They literally made hot Cheeto dupes there. I don't what remember what they, like? It was black, and it had red on it. Oh, and um, it's literally like a hot Cheeto, but it's their version What's of a hot Cheeto. What's your favorite thing to eat at Trader Joe's? That. Those. Those <laughs> and the vegan chicharrones. The chicharrones are crazy. The chicharrones are like, yeah. unbelievable. When I tell you they're unbelievable, they're unbelievable. But I'm eating That's them. a girl dinner right there. I'll eat two bags. <laughs> to eat two, I'll eat two bags of those bitches. Yeah, that is a girl, girl dinner, yeah. bitch. I'm like, I'll just have a couple of them before I eat dinner because I need to eat the whole bag of them. Two of those. No need for dinner. Two oh. of those and a fucking Diet Dr. Pepper. I'm good. Going to sleep. Soda with that? That's crazy. Well, I will need water because they are a little spicy. They though. are. So, but I'm saying after I finish my water, as a dessert. top it off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going into today's topic for childhood crushes. Yes. I, I'm going to be honest. The one I've seen the most in here is probably Gil from Finding Nemo. He's the one with the scar. Oh, yeah. Gil, the, the fish that Willem helped Defoe. Escape. Yeah, Willem Dafoe. I forgot that was Willem Dafoe. <laughs> Every time I think of Willem Dafoe now, I think of him with like a little tiny bun in a <laughs> man. And when he's supposed to be Jason Momoa's uncle. That's what I think about. <laughs> I think about that and I think he's in here that's so absurd. much. That's pretty crazy. Gil the fish. Yeah. Hey, stand up. Um, uh, I don't get that one. You guys like a bad boy? Is that what? <laughs> Shut up. A hardened criminal. <laughs> A seasoned criminal. Dude. I uh, can't relate to that personally, yeah. but I guess I can, like... I can't even say I understand, because I don't. That would be a lie. That one I don't get, yeah. That would be a lie. See, the Fox turns Zootopia, I get that one. Okay. <laughs> like, I think he's handsome. I don't want to, like, okay. kiss him. Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. I thought you would want to <laughs> kiss him. Now I'm, now I'm not concerned See, at all. We, we can't do this topic when Brittany's not here standing in solidarity with him. Because well, is is part of that him or is part of that like Jason Bateman? Yeah, 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 I was going to say. <laughs> this one's really funny. This okay. one's from Kaylee. Okay. She said Rango. What? What? What the fuck? That's... That movie's not good. I'm you not need to like turn it. the lights off and go sit in the corner. <laughs> Think about what you just said. Rango. I can't believe you typed that out and then pressed send on the Google form. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Kaylee? Submit. And then I put, are you comfortable with us using your name? Yes. <laughs> Kaylee, you shouldn't have been. You shouldn't have been comfortable. <laughs> what does that mean? Rango? That's crazy. You know how they say that, like, when people talk about, like, Spirit the Horse or, like, teenage Simba, right? Mm. When they talk about them, they're like, maybe, right? Um, I, you know how they say that they give them human-like faces <laughs> and that's, that's what makes you... Attracted to them. Yeah, so they give them, like, they give them the whites of their eyes and yeah. they don't have those, right? Like, because if you made them look like real animals, they You're wouldn't scary. be attractive. Yeah. You gotta humanize them to an extent. In spirit, does that horse talk? No. There's no talking about To my knowledge, no. I don't remember him talking. I wasn't a horse girl personally. No. That wasn't my journey. But 
that I can understand because they do humanize them to an extent to like give you a relatability. Plus they speak English, which animals don't. Mm -hmm. Um, but Rango looks like a chameleon. Like he does not look human at all. (laughs) Like they made him look like that was part of the animation was the fact that they made them look so real. Yeah. Like, like animals. Mm -hmm. Fuck is wrong with you. That's pretty. His eyes being like little, like they can shrink like that, like little slits like that. (laughs) You're into that, Kaylee? Not good. I want to hold space for you, but it's I'm finding it a little difficult <laughs> right now. I, I need some time away for you. I'm sorry. I need some time to think. This next one is from Michaela. She said, the tomato from Veggie Tales. What? <laughs> you guys are pissing me off. These are bad. <laughs> you guys are pissing me off. You guys, if I read these in front of our guests last week, I'd be so mad at you. <laughs> You're very so in Paris. You're very the tomato. No, I'm just kidding. I wish you did read them in front of Brittany. No, she would have died. The tomato? I once told a dude online that he looked like that guy, and he never recovered from that. <laughs> he never recovered from that insult. Like, he was very <laughs> mad about that. Not good. Um, so, I recommend you say that to men who look like that thing. You are crazy. <laughs> you, some of you are crazy. <laughs> okay, this is from Juliana. She said, TJ from Recess, the backwards hat bad boy vibes. How can That's the white kid, right? Yeah. With the red hat? Yeah. Well, at least we got a human in the mix. (laughs) (laughs) Do you remember the show? It's not all veggies and fish. Do you you remember the show Brace Face? No. We used to watch it together. You don't remember that one? I don't think so. With the long girl shaped braces and like crazy things would happen to her? I don't think I remember that. I forget her name. Was her name like Sam or something? Girl, I don't know. I'm pulling up a picture for you right now. Remember that show? Oh, yes. I, I think so, yeah. I this show. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, that was right. But, um, TJ from Recess, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, my thoughts are at least it's human. Okay. At least one of the cartoons <laughs> that you guys are telling me that you were attracted to yeah, is that. a human. And I mean, I didn't really care for that show personally. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't love that show. I would watch it, but I, 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 didn't I liked love it because I thought Spinelli was really cool. Because she's like queer, gay. Voted, but she's definitely not queer. Gay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think that one seems standard. That one seems like that seems like a lot of people could probably relate to that. Oh, the kid from Recess. Yeah. yeah or yeah. anyone from that show, like. I just, when I watch a show, I'm like, how do they have so much time to do all that during recess? Like, by the time my feet hit the blacktop, it's already time to go inside. That's how it always felt. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel a lot. Well, like we said, I said in the last episode, I was just playing my ass off so hard. So maybe yeah. I felt like I was accomplishing everything. Okay, made. you guys, when you guys had recess, when they the, when the bell would go off, what would you guys do? At our elementary school... We had to sit on the ground and be still. Like, you couldn't even move your, like, your hand. You can't talk. You would just sit on the ground, completely silent and still. And if you moved or talked, they would give you, you get in trouble. you get benched. Yeah, which was like, you didn't get to go to lunch recess. Or Basically whatever. detention. Yeah. Yeah. And you had to sit in this courtyard. And you had to, like, go, you had to squat down and wait. And then the second bell, you have to go line up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I you couldn't had... run to your lines. Yeah, you yeah. You could never run on the blacktop. You could only run on the grass. Which, like, I guess is a way to keep kids safe. But, like, it's, just it's also not... very weird and dictatory. I just think when I think of the our elementary school experience... Yeah, it was not the same. It feels like prison. It felt very off the books in yeah. a lot of places. Like, I think we talked about... I think we have talked about our lunch times. Yeah. Like, you weren't allowed to talk? We were not. I'm not... When I say we were not allowed to talk, I'm not kidding. Like... Like, they would give us, like, maybe 10 minutes, and that was just to get your food and sit down. Yeah. But, like, once everybody was seated, you could not talk, like, at all. And he, and the janitor, like, I'm not kidding, the literal custodian, like, he would walk around, and he would, like, yell at people to, to stop talking. And if you did talk, they would make you go stand on the stage. Called We called it the wall. Yeah. They would make, go, they would send you to the wall. <laughs> like, in Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was. And so they made us go stand up there and everyone would look at you. Yeah, you you literally had to go to the wall. You'd go up on this little stage and there was like a wall behind it, obviously. 
and you would have to lean up against it and it was just public humiliation yeah, like, and then you would know everyone that. would look at you and you would not get to go to recess till everyone else got to go no you wouldn't you would be benched oh that's right yeah they would take you from the wall to like detention to the court and it was like a courtyard that led to the bathroom that faced the um the playground yeah. so you would have to sit there and watch everyone have fun and then every, it was like public humiliation it and sounds everyone, like everyone a would joke. walk through to go to the bathroom and they would like your friends would try and come talk to you and the supervisors would be like, you can't talk to them. She's not, she's benched. And then I would lay there and cry the, like, one time I ever got benched. I never went to the wall. One time, though, um, a supervisor tried to tell me to go. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I wasn't talking, so I'm not going up there. The way I would gaslight my mouth to everything. All yeah, time. I was like, I wasn't talking. so And I was talking, but it wasn't my fault. <laughs> like, some girl was, was bothering me, and yeah. I told her to leave me alone because I didn't want to get in trouble. And then... She kept telling me I was talking, and she kept pointing to the wall. I was like, I'm not going up there. Mm-hmm. Like, the way I just refuse to go, and they can't force me. Like, <laughs> I'm not going up there. Because you're- because they have no authority. Like, they're not allowed to do that. Like, they're allowed to walk, write bench slips, but that's, like, if you're misbehaving. But, like, they could... I. It's so funny, because that was so normal to us. Yeah. And then, like, one day we mentioned it to my mom, and then she goes, what do you mean you don't talk during lunch? And we were like, well, we're not allowed to. And she was like, since when? I was all, as long as I can remember. Yeah. But honestly, like, it started when that custodian started. No, he worked there the entire time, but I think it was like... He just started exerting power, yeah. though, is my yeah. point. Like, he literally just started doing that. Like, nobody told him to do that. Like, maybe maybe the principal did, because she was really evil and racist. But maybe she did, but he... Like, you have no authority over me. You're not allowed to tell me that I can't talk during lunch. Well, and I'm like seven. I'm gonna, <laughs> I can't talk to her. And lunch. it's literally first grade to fifth grade yeah. year olds. They're kids. Like the oldest kid there is probably ten. Yeah. So like, is that? That's I'm not. like, that's bizarre. You're like, and the whole point of recess is to get the energy out so that you can focus in class. Yeah. Like that's the fucking point. And I remember my mom complained. Like after she heard that from us, she talked to other parents in the classes. They also didn't know. And then she, like, went and, and complained. And then I think, like, they changed it when Jason had already left to middle school. And I was yeah. in the grade. And so they, like, they let us talk at lunch. But that's just crazy. That's crazy. I don't even remember what we were talking about. Especially like when, you, when you think of nine-year-olds, they've been cooped up all day. Yeah. It's lunchtime. I want to be annoying and talk to my friends. Yeah, and, like, laugh and giggle and, like, have fun and play and get all your energy out so then you can focus when you're in class. That's where when I lived in New York and I was in charge, we were, I worked in a middle school, I would be like, like, you guys can talk, but you better not be yelling and put your mask on because yeah. <laughs> it's mask times. But Yeah, I, I remember, too. Like, one of our favorite teachers that she, like, still talks to our mom to this day. We both had her. And I had her for multiple years. Oh, yeah, I love her. She, uh, whenever we would come in from recess, she would do this exercise where she would make us lay our heads down on our hands to calm down. <laughs> like, <laughs> everyone's so zany. Yeah, everyone's so, like, when they come in, especially after lunch. Uh-huh. So she would let us come in, and she'd be like, okay, everybody sit down. And then she would turn the lights off, and she would have you lay your head on your hands. For like five minutes. And, yeah. like, calm down. <laughs> and get re- get into a space where you can start to learn. Yeah. I think Which is fair. For, I think that was for her, too, to kind of, like... Yeah, get she's like, everybody so. calm down. Yeah. And she'd be like, no talking, everybody relax. And we're, like, gonna come down. And then we're going to learn. And that was fair. It worked. <laughs> like, Every time. We all liked it. So, Okay, this next one's from B. She said, the magic carpet from Aladdin. Something about the vibe it put out. Okay. I don't have anything to say about that one. <laughs> okay. He doesn't talk. He waves his little tassels. I guess that's him talking. He's giving camp. I don't... <laughs> He's communicating. He communicates... <laughs> He communicates with with vibes and feeling, <laughs> not not words. That's crazy. Sometimes you don't need words. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of freaks. You guys are a bunch of bean freaks. That's what I'm learning. The more I read from you guys, where I go, sometimes I think y- y'all are sharing it just a little too much. Also, I just want to say. You guys know how I am about crushes. Like I never have them, and I never really did have them when oh, I was did a child. You the carpet too. Um, no, that's not where my sentence was When you guys like the carpet, do you get the carpet match the drapes? <laughs> carpet match the tassels? No, it's literally, I literally want to say, like, I'm allowed to make fun of you because that is what I do to Dason. 
If you want to be treated as equals, that's how it works. In this house, we're all being friends. In this house, I make fun of all of you. That's true. <laughs> no, we'll see. The same way y'all make fun of me you literally all the time. You know who's in here a lot is Kronk from... Uh, that's fair. That one makes sense to me. A himbo. That makes sense to me. He's like... It's funny, too, because the way that he's, like, drawn, like, his physique is, like, the goal of every man who fucking <laughs> hates me. Physique. Yeah, that's, like, literally the goal of every man who fucking hates me. Is that the Dorito back you're yep, talking yep, about? Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. Who Dorito did you back. explain that to? You. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I, was, I explained that to you and, um, I think a guest on my show, yeah. they had asked me about it because it, they were like a Dorito back and I'm like, you shouldn't say that because that's a compliment to them. That's a tip for all of you. Oh. If you talk to a gym bro and they're like the worst fucking person alive, as most of them are, um, calling them like a Dorito, like telling them they're shaped like a Dorito, like they take that as a compliment because they want to be shaped like that. Oh. Like real wide up top and then like it comes in like a triangle. Yeah. Triangle body. Hmm. And that's how Kronk's built. See, Kronk's built like that, and he's not a horrible person. Go figure. Do you think Kuzco's queer? No. No? No, he gives off straight He's energy. super, super straight. You think so? Well, I think... Actually, that's not true. He, he could He could be. He could very well bi be. or something, yeah. Yeah, he could very well be bi. He could even... Honestly, he could even be someone who's not attracted to anybody. That's Because he loves himself so much. A pacha. That's one of the funniest movies ever. Ever made. <laughs> the Emperor's New Groove is one of the funniest movies ever made. It's true. It did not get the love that it deserved. No. And it came out on my birthday. I'll never forget that. I know. Jason says that every time. Because we okay. went to the movies. <laughs> we went to the movies to see it. We did. And I was so excited. It was... It's so funny. Yeah, it no. still holds up to this day. We watch it whenever we're feeling sad. We're like, let's put on the yeah, Emperor's New Groove. Yeah. We have so many inside jokes from that movie. Yeah. That one is... We use that one. A- we say that a lot to each other. <laughs> that so one in um, this was one. This is another one from that movie that I I always go like. <laughs> like we still Donovan and Jason. I'm like, what's it, what's it from? I did it at Disneyland the other day, but I was like, uh, which one? Which one? And I said, where's that from? And Jason didn't know. And I said, Dottie, where's that from? And he knew. Yeah. It's from Eastman. Cheese me no lucky. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll make mine a salad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, okay. that's who I should be. <gasps> we should be Eastman and Kronk. I've seen that done before. That would be a good one. Really funny, yeah. I know. I'm just saying we're both. But you would be Kronk, right? Because you're the one with the Dorito back. Yeah, because I'm built better than Billy. See, what if I told someone your back looks like Doritos? Wouldn't that hurt your feelings? That's funny. That's textured. When you said Dorito back, that's what I thought you meant. Well, no, girl, shape. They call it a Dorito back because they're talking about I understand, shape. yeah. But I'm saying, what if I told you your back looks like it's made out of Doritos? That's mean and very funny. That would hurt my feelings. Yep. Same. Put that one in your arsenal for you. Kronk, I won't make funny of offer. That one would make sense. Yeah. That's He's good. got himbo vibes. Okay, these are two human ones. So this okay. is from Tanisha. She's like, I wouldn't say this is random, but can we talk about Oliver James and what a girl wants? You know the guy she likes in that movie? Yes, yes, okay. yeah. So I'll put the British, the British guy. Yeah, I'll yeah. Put pictures here. By the way, if there's no pictures in here, I can't find them. Yeah. So people are like, I love what she never puts them in there. If they're not in here, I can't find them. Also, if they're from our archives, um, they're not in there because we didn't send them. I just, I can't find them. Yeah. So anyways, so she said Oliver James and Whatever Wants. Okay. And then Eric Von Denton and Brink. Which is the same kid from Brink, yeah. Kids of Stars. I wanted him yeah. biblically. Yeah. So bad. That's a good one. That's a good one. He was hot, yeah, right? Yeah, that's a good one. Do you agree on that one? Yeah. I mean, I get that one I get very much so. Yeah. He was like the guy. Yeah. In Princess Diaries, I was so like, hot. I was like, maybe you should let men disrespect you. I'm <laughs> just <laughs> stupid. No, I agree. I'm kidding. Dude, but he was so much cloud chasing in that. Yeah, cloud cloud chasing, and he was so awful to her. Like, so bad. Like, he treated her, and the popular girls, he treated her like shit too. Many more. He may have many more. Blonde, many more. True. Mm -hmm. Sandra O's in that movie. As the principal. Julie Andrews. 
Girl. Where do you get off? What's stacked cast? But I will say, so obviously I think that guy's really hot. I forget his name in the movie. It's probably, yeah. It's probably Jason or something. Stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blake, right? Yeah. Um, I thought he was really hot, but the guy she ends up with, I thought was, like, I was like, that's my dream. That's Jason Coded. Yeah. Honestly. Him and, like, the, the boyfriend from Bring It On. And, she ends up with. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and honestly, that Brittany, guy's so hot. Brittany would agree with that. You think so? Yeah. I'd ask her. Yeah. She loves a funny guy. Like she yeah. loves a funny, witty, handsome guy. Yeah. And even then, they don't even have to be that that handsome. Like and bring it just... on. I wanted to date Missy and her brother. Honestly, I saw I saw a couple clips from that movie recently on from TikTok. On? Yeah, and there are very problematic parts in that movie. I know that. Obviously, the times were different, but there are the brother is so funny in that movie. I know. His lines are so fucking funny. So Some funny. of them he are. He's also in Clockstoppers. Do you remember that movie? Yes, I do. Absolutely. Not do. good, but he was. Not good, but it. everybody had that DVD. Why? I Why did we all have Clockstoppers the movie? I just remember being on. Nickelodeon. I didn't even like I that movie. I remember being on Nickelodeon.com because I think they like, did that movie or something. Uh, and I remember t- asking my mom if she would buy me the watch because I thought it would work. I know the yellow. It was yellow. Yeah. Yeah. And she was like, oh, I think I did end up getting it, huh? I, I think remember. so, yeah. Or actually, my grandpa did. Yeah. Because he would always like We did have it. I remember yeah. that. And it didn't work. It was stupid. Didn't stop the clock. <laughs> there Pulse was no clock stopping happening, actually. actually. There was money spent and no clock stopping. <laughs> <laughs> time wasted <laughs> yeah that guy's hot I agree yeah the Brink the Brink one like the Princess Diary that's a good one when's the last time you watch Brink it's not a good movie it's been a minute dude it's been a long time like I, I tried I know it's awful I'm like, sure it's so bad when they put all those movies online yeah that was like the first one I was like I have to watch this one I couldn't even finish it it was not I, bad I huh? really wanted to watch Rip Girls it's on there but I just didn't have the heart after I couldn't finish Brink I was like there's no way I'm gonna be able to yeah it just gets worse girl. honestly yeah what about um it what about Bell. what about Double Teamed I never liked that one I know but lesbians you're thinking of Motocross no 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 I loved I, that movie I know you did okay and well, that should have okay. been that should have been one of my biggest signs okay it's not too much now yeah <laughs> that should have been one of my biggest signs that and Lemonade It mouth. wasn't even her that I wanted to kiss, though. It was her, the guy that plays your boyfriend that movie. Sure. She's not my type. You liked both of them. Together. Mm. Like in Mulan, I always wanted the boy. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> and uh, you know what's... And, okay, hold on. You don't see the similarities there? Yeah, it's the same movie. I'm just saying, yes, it is. But I'm saying it, they're two men who are, they're attracted to yeah. the, to people that they believe are men. Yes. And when they find out they're not men, they're like, yuck. Yeah. At first. Yeah. And then they come around in the end. Sure. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's gay. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that makes sense that you're gay. You know what I mean? I know that. That tracks. But that I didn't like double teamed. I thought it was boring. I know you didn't like it, I'm just saying lesbian coded. I feel like we were so close to being twins that I hated watching movies about twins. That yeah, I, we're like... I wish we were twins. We're not twins. And we're not even really Irish twins. No, because we're Irish a twins, full two years apart. Yeah, yeah, we're a full two years apart. But, like, yeah. we were raised like twins because... Almost. Because Jason was only a year ahead of me in school. So we were always, like, in the same school, doing the same, same thing. Same friends. Yeah. Same friends. The like, only exception to my twin role is Passport to Paris. That doesn't count. Dude, what about those guys? How come no one's brought them up? No one's talked about Jacques and the other one? I don't remember the I other one. I saw the other one. Wait, sorry. What were their names? Jamie? Did I just make that up? I thought one of their names was Jacques. Maybe that was me. <laughs> French profiling. <laughs> Maybe just assume I'm like, one of them's name was Remy. The other one was Gusto. Okay, Michelle. Michelle, and yeah. Sean. Sean? Je- oh, Jean. Jean. Okay, that's the second Jean Valjean. Jean Valjean. <laughs> Dude, if there's... you know where that's from, you're in the club. Wait, wait. There's, there's <laughs> an episode of New Girl where uh, she's trying to become friends with Coach, okay. right? Um, and because he's like, she's like a weirdo. You know, yes. she's like so weird and eclectic and like, she's like, goes to the store with him one day mm-hmm. and she's like, he said the meanest thing about me. And then it flashes back and she has like those... You know those fucking big ass glasses that old people wear for like cataracts? I think so. They have like medical glasses. The they sell them at like a Walgreens. Yeah, those okay. big ones. Yeah. She's like, look, I have old people glasses on. Okay. And then he's like talking to a friend and he goes, that's my buddy's girlfriend. 
And then she's like, and they're like, why does that mean? And she's like, I want him to think of me as a friend. So she tries to bond with him. And so she pretends to like basketball. I love that. And he's like, that's that's why Jess is literally decent, like, (laughs) in the new world. And he likes, I forget, he likes, like, the Pistons and and I think, like, Nick likes the Bulls. That's what it is. Sorry. So he likes the Pistons, he likes the Bulls, whatever. She pretends to like the Pistons. It, like, creates this controversy. But there's this part where he's trying to explain basketball to her. She's like, why does it matter, like, if I pretend to like this team? Like, once I once I become friends with him, I'll like your team. And he's like, so you're just going to flip-flop? How could I ever trust you, right? Yeah. And she's like, I don't get it. Like, who cares? Because it's like a rivalry. Mm. He's like, it's like a, we're rivals. You can't like them or whatever. And she goes, oh, Jean Valjean and Javert. <laughs> <laughs> That's like her frame of reference. And he goes, I don't know what that means. Because he does. He's not <laughs> <laughs> but that's how she like learns that like they yeah. they don't like each other. <laughs> she yeah. uses lameness. No, yeah, it, it makes sense to her. When she <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Oh, if you just Jean said that. Jean and Javert. I get it. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so Anyways. Anyways, Michelle, that's the one that I had a crush on. Yes. With the dark hair. No, dude, I had I had a crush on the one with the long hair. That was me. Long hair? Well, it was, like, not long, but it was, like, swoopy. You know what I'm saying? It was longer than the other guy's That's hair. the one that I liked. Okay. No, dog, you liked that one. The one with... <laughs> Cut that part out. Get my more. <laughs> part out. <laughs> Cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> Cameras. Dead um, ass. That's not the one I liked, but that's okay. That is the one you liked. No, it's, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is, because I liked the other one, and I made... <laughs> sure to tell you you had to like the other one <laughs> i gave you explicit instructions <laughs> on which one to like. cut the cameras anyway i told you which one you were allowed to like <laughs> oh shit as a kid as a four-year-old no. uh-uh. I, okay you like you like women so it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah i liked this one dog you're so high you're out of your mind. I, okay, uh, obviously, bitch. there was a miscommunication. I then you must have just been pretending to like the other one because yeah. I told you I liked that one. Okay, anyways, we both liked the same boy. <laughs> we were fighting about it. This movie came out like 30 years ago. Anyways. We're fighting about it and you're a lesbian. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me drive that then. Anyways, so I had a crush on this one. Um, I saw him on... Um, that one? Yeah. That guy? Okay. I saw him. Oh my gosh, look at this picture of them at the dance. Dude, I want to watch this movie so bad. It's so good, bro. Oh, it's so bad. Passport to Paris, that is my agenda that I'm yeah. pushing. We talked about the movie a lot last year. It's so good. And I it. and I rewatched it uh yeah, like two years ago. Yeah, and it's just as good. She told me, dude, it's on here. And I yes. It. Yep. Was so I good. Anyways, I saw him on TikTok. Oh, really? He was doing something with Esquire because I think he still acts. Is he actually French? No. He's a great actor. <laughs> I believed it. <laughs> As a seven-year-old, he I had a picture. I was like, he's the most French person I know. He sold He sold it to me. He wore a black turtleneck. <laughs> yeah. And, and he a, drove a Vespa. And a little bit of an accent. And he drove a Vespa. What else? What other credentials do you what need? What else do I need to know? To be French. You know, so funny. Both your favorite movies are in Paris. Passport to Paris. Ratatouille. What are you and do? it's even funnier because Paris would probably not like me. No. Just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> he, they asked him about Passport to Paris, and I was like, Oh, iconic. really? Yeah, I thought oh, I sent well. it to you. No, I didn't see. Well, I haven't really been on TikTok the past couple days. I know, I've sent you a bunch of singers. Yeah. If they're re- this is what I do. If they're really funny, I'll text them to you. Yeah. If they're ones I'll like, Dude. oh, she'll laugh at them, I'll just put him in. in Dude, TikTok. you sent me one. I told you about it already, but yeah. you sent me one that literally, I, first of all, I was watching it on the toilet, but like, I was laughing my ass off, bro. And it was the one where the little, little kids fighting. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the one where like, it's like a little boy and he's like kicking his like cousin or sister. And then they're like, don't kick her. She's going to get you back. Like, you and run, she, she, she said, run up, get done up, son. Yeah. <laughs> and she cocked her hand back and slapped him so hard, bro. And they're like, oh, what yeah. you, when she did it. And the caption says, it's even funnier because it was his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Dude, the video of that little kid. Holy right, shit, right, dude. They were like, well, my, well, my nephew would fuck a hot dog, hot diggity dog or whatever that. <laughs> Yeah, he's dancing so cute. That's literally my brother too. My brother loves that show, Mickey Mouse Club. Oh, when I posted my promo when Morgan was on my show mm-hmm. and she was we were talking about the grapefruit thing, I didn't understand what that meant. 
basically you pit a grapefruit like you cut a hole in it you okay. pit it so like there it's like there's like well like the, do you half it yeah essentially okay and, and the just, meat is in the middle like there, there's still like the fruit in the middle but you just you cut a hole in the middle of it and okay. like dig it out and then you put that on the dick oh okay. and then you suck at the same time that you move it oh it's supposed to be like it's supposed to like give the sensation of like who else was scared? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I wish you should leave that whole part out so it doesn't get demonetized. Yeah. Like, you can leave that part in, but just yeah, leave I'll, that part I'll out. Yeah. That, yeah. Anyways. What I've been doing instead of bleeding because someone told me it scared them, which I don't blame them because it is kind of jarring. Yeah. I just put dead air in there. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do that. Someone literally wrote, because um, I said, what am I, a sideshow act? I'm not bringing in tools, right? Yeah. Like that. As someone was like, Miska Mouse, Mouse Katools. <laughs> and then I was like, what the hell? You Shut guys are so up. funny. It makes me sick. Shut up. They're like, I can hand me that Mouse Katools. <laughs> okay, this next one's from Jessica. She said, Jesse McCartney. I was a truly obsessed five-year-old. I got his CD, Beautiful Soul, for Christmas. Period. And I played it out. I still have every song memorized. I truly thought he was the sweetest piece of pie to walk the earth. <laughs> That's what... I'm not joking. I want someone to describe me as that. <laughs> I've never heard anyone describe anyone like that. The sweetest piece of pie. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so Jesse. I know. Ugh. That's typical Jesse. How do you sleep? Is that a Jesse McCartney song? Yeah, that's like his new wave shit. Yeah, yeah. like when he with was like, leaving, right? Yeah, with yeah. leave. Yup, but yup, that song is still on my iPod. Yup, How do you sleep is so good. How do you is sleep? Jamie Foxx on that? Or did I imagine that? I think he did have a song with Jamie Foxx. I if I remember it. correctly, I'm gonna Google it. But go ahead, keep talking. How do you sleep is a great one. Yeah. Um, hold on. Let me. <laughs> that video. From I'm falling on the stage. I feel like I've talked about it. Before. Oh my god! Yeah, I've seen that. It's so funny, dude. Y'all know though how Dayson feels about people falling. Down. People falling. Um, he didn't really do anything for me personally. Body language with T Pain. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, okay. yeah, body language was a good one too. Yeah, that album Departure. That's the one that has Leave In. Leave In was such a great one. How do you? Oh, his oh, Ludacris is on How Do You Sleep. That's what. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah, he has a version without it though. It's crazy. His new wave shit. I was like, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, let him cook. <laughs> Anything after that, I was like, nah. nah. I know. I was never a Jesse McCartney girl personally, but that makes sense. Yeah. That, that makes girl. a lot of sense. He was like the it girl for a while. We've talked about it too with that episode of uh, The Sweet Life, of Z- Sweet Life of Zach and Cody where Justin McCartney's on there. Yeah. And that was a great and one. Were, uh, uh, snuck into meet him. That's like pure comedy to me. Alex told me uh, recently. This is our bestie, Alex. Yeah. Um, she was telling me how she wanted to watch the episode of Lizzie McGuire where she Aaron with, with Aaron Carter the Christmas special one okay. and she said uh, that because she lived in Canada like it it aired at a different time so she said she said like she w- wanted to wake up at, she had to wake up at like 3 in the morning to watch it and she said she slept through her her like alarm clock mm-hmm. and she woke up and she missed it and they didn't have TiVo or anything at the yeah, time Obvi- like she said we couldn't afford TiVo so like I had to watch it live mm-hmm. and she's like and then I spent all day crying because I missed it because <laughs> she so loved upset. him so much and she I was just staying up early or till like 3 in the morning to watch on um, the Black Fruit premiere on yeah uh, MTV. We, we actually woke up at two in the morning. Yeah, like, to go watch it. And we took our blankets into the living room to watch them perform it. Okay. Dedication. I don't know. What are you going to do? I'm a dedicated wife. <laughs> oh, who was I telling that to? I was telling Eric. I was like, he's 30, I'm 12. Like, we could totally make it work. Like, just give me a chance. I've never been more sure of anything in my life than I was about that. Which is, I'm like, please. Don't. That should have been the tell of my, like, delusional confidence was literally that like yeah. i was just convinced yeah. like you could not tell me otherwise anything else you could simply couldn't okay this one's kind of this is the last one guys mm-hmm. for this episode we'll do another part because that way we can get more into them this one's kind of nutty so two separate people wrote in sonic the hedgehog like so this one from mo okay. he said hear me out i had a very alarming crush on sonic the hedgehog and i would only dress in blue to impress him and then Lexi said, when I was six years old, I had the biggest crush on Sonic the Hedgehog. I know it sounds crazy, but I thought he was so cool. 
He could run super fast, save people, had a really cool voice, and was low-key charming. I used to go to GameStop when they had the free play machines and play Sonic just to admire him. Or when my brother would play the game at home, I'd sit behind him and watch. Now that I'm 21, this infatuation is so fucking weird, and I'll never tell six-year-old me it was wrong. <laughs> hey, man. We all got a weird thing. It's okay. Also, wouldn't you dress as a gold coin? Because that's what Sonic the Hedgehog is always looking for. He's collecting coins. Girl. He's always collecting coins. Yeah. So, might I suggest you dress in gold? He might like that more. <laughs> might I suggest we switch it up? Yeah. Maybe you, like, actually care for once about what <laughs> Sonic wants? <laughs> Something about what you want? <laughs> Have you... You haven't watched the Sonic movies, right? No. They're you so told, funny. You told me they're funny. Yeah. I haven't watched them. I was just thinking, uh, because you're like, you haven't watched them, and I was like, of course I haven't, because I've been watching Modern Family for the last, like, six months, which we all know. Mm -hmm. Um, but I start over this, I start over, this is one of the few shows where I'll watch from the very beginning. Okay. Um, because normally I don't like the early seasons of shows that I have or fix on and have to watch all the time. You were still talking about Modern Family? Yeah. Got it, okay. Um, but I saw this episode yesterday, and there's this part where, like, the roles kind of reverse a little bit where Claire starts working a lot more um, and Phil isn't working nearly as much. And she was like a stay at home mom for like over yeah. 10 years. So he's starting to feel neglect, like a neglected housewife. Like he's not, he's not like, Oh, I hate being housewife. Like he's literally just like wants her to pay attention to him. Yeah. Like in SpongeBob. Yeah, exactly. And so like, she comes home and she's like, Hey, did you do what I asked? And he goes, I, I put the stupid flowers in the bathroom. Like you asked. <laughs> So he's like, if you're talking about the stupid flowers. But doesn't I she kind of act like a shitty husband? Like, she'll stop Yes, yes, yeah, like, like, yeah, like, and she's, like, not, oh, she doesn't notice, guy, she doesn't like, notice his new haircut and, yeah. like, some shit like that. So it's, like, role reversal kind yeah. of thing. Um, but he's like, if you're asking about the stupid flowers, I did put them in the bathroom like you asked. And, like, we couldn't stop laughing because, like, I always ask Billy to do stuff like that when I, when you host. Because, like, she was, like, waiting for people. <laughs> and he's like... I always ask him, can you light the candles and can mm -hmm. you put my flowers out and stuff like that so people can see. You guys, we talk about this a lot with our family, but the main Dunphy family is our family. Is the awful family coded. Yeah. Like in every way. Yeah. Yeah. They I, I, literally have yeah. cameras in the house. Like, I, mean, I don't know how they know that much about us. Like, Donnie is, what's his name? Luke. Luke, yeah. yeah. Drew's Alex. Mm -hmm. And then I'm here. Jason's Haley, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, uh, I was telling them, like... I think Claire and Phil are our parents. Claire and Phil are our parents, yeah. literally. And there's, like, a... The only difference is that uh, we don't... Uh, we're not mean to our mom. We're not mean to our mom like that, because we're not... White. <laughs> a little different. But if, other I'm just than kidding. That, we're not a TV family, though. Other what. than that... Um, we, uh... There's, I was telling them the other night that there's like a scene where, um, Alex like loses something cause she puts a lot of pressure on herself cause her mom is always so proud of her and that's like so fucking me coded. It's yeah. crazy. And she succeeds at a lot of academic stuff cause that's how she gets external validation. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and so there's like a part where she's like, you're just my kid who wins. Like you're my kid who wins. I love that about you, which is so funny. Cause that's like literally my mom to me. Yeah. Um, uh, not in a bad way, but my mom has always known that about me. And that's why I, like, self-sabotage myself or whatever in moments like that. <laughs> and then she's like, Haley, she's like, well, you know, it's probably because I'm your your kid who does that the most. And she's like, yeah, Haley sends me, e she sent emails me pictures of her nails. And Luke asked me yesterday if he was part owl. And I was like, Ty, <laughs> that's literally our fucking family. I know. That's literally the three of us. pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny. Mm. Holy shit. So funny. But yeah, absolutely. Love that show. We all know that. Anyways, Sonic the Hedgehog. Pass. Can't take that journey with you again. Main kid from Brink. Smash. That makes that makes more sense to me. Yeah. Rango, not so much. That one, I might have been one of the worst ones we've gotten. As so I far. said, he looks like a chameleon, so I don't know. I don't remember liking that movie either. Did you like that? I never watched it because I I find the animation disturbing. Uh -huh. I don't like it. It scares me. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this week's episode of Two Idiot Girls. Yes. We are still in the process of launching our membership. Yes. Um, make sure y'all sign up if you haven't already. We'll remind you, but make sure you do it. Uh, the still. survey link will be down below. Yeah. I think it allows you to opt in to text messages and stuff like that. Yeah. So if you want, you can put your phone number in there as well so you can stay updated on when it goes live. Agreed. So, uh, other than that, we will be doing a part three of this because we didn't even really do any in the first episode. 
And what do you want from me? And honestly, I think it's funny. And what do you want from I me? I think it's funny. So we're going to do that. Um, if you liked this episode, you can stream other episodes everywhere you can listen to podcasts. And the video version is always on our YouTube channel. Yes. We love you and we hope you have a great week. Bye. Bye. Bye.